Hey guys, we missed you. Did you miss us? We definitely, I missed them. Did you miss them? Of course, this is so fun. This is fun. This is, this is some of the most fun that I have. And if you want to talk about mental health, honey, this definitely puts me in a great mood. So hopefully it puts you in a great mood. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a nice little treat. Hello, tres leches. Yummy. Mm. Smell. Oh, that's so fresh. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Mm. It, it's so nostalgic. It just, this is just, it's everything to us, tres leches. Hold on. <laughs> How that? <laughs> like Jeffree Star. Like, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> we have a special treat for you. My closet looks crazy, okay? Absolutely crazy. Because I had to go through it. I could not find it. I found my high school journal that I've been talking about, okay? Now, if you knew me in high school, I was a lot thinner prettier probably but if you saw me my senior year I was always um carry this is the exact notebook that I was that I would carry this one right here and I always I I held on to it for so long because I was like well when I have a little girl like when she's in high school I want her to use it but this is not her style so you know when you're little like this is and this is still my style and look feel it it's all furry I mean, it's cute. Girl, what you mean? I mean, it's cute. I got it from Target. It's gorgeous. <laughs> but I would always put like all my stuff in here, right? I had this. And then I had the journal from when I was a senior in high school. My mom got this for me and I was like, this is cute. Mm -hmm. And I think this was from like Seventeen Magazine. That's why it's at mm. 17. Is 17 Magazine still the thing? Yeah. What does kind of get When did you learn cursive? Second grade, we had really? to. Really? We were forced to. This is all I know how to write in. Crazy. I know nowadays it's not really in the curriculum and then they do put it in the curriculum and then teachers have to, because of the standardized testing, teachers have to pick and choose like how much time they're gonna devote to certain topics certain things that are extremely important but it's all about the test so then like learning cursive isn't something that's like at the top of their agenda I wish I it. Yeah. you could still do it i know but it's like but you, you have know, to do it every day yeah that's why when, I'm when i sorry i don't have a booger i just have a niche daddy what <laughs> my daddy my dad that mm -hmm. one really is about my dad <laughs> You know, back in the day when you said daddy, it was really about your dad, okay? It's <laughs> about your bae. <laughs> but like, I have some of these titles and they're just, look, some they're like daily journal entries. So, should we eat before yes. I read it? Or should I not read it? I feel like you should eat. If you knew me in high school, this is how I read it. I always have this. Are you reading it now? Into my high heel. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. I am so excited, but I need to throw strawberry first. It's too dry. You don't think it's too dry for the leches? I don't like how dry it is. They usually are so good. I'm so in love with it. It's fine. So I guess the what Mr. Taylor would do, not that I guess, but what Mr. Taylor would do is that he would write topics on the board and you had to just write about that topic. But then I quickly discovered that he would kind of also let you talk, like write about other things. The idea was just to write. He is the love of my life. 
Oh my god, I'm ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I changed my mind. Excuse you, don't be reading in case I don't read some lines. Um, I have to know everything. Okay. But let's talk about that cute little penmanship. <laughs> what do you think about me? Like, this is your age, me. It's interesting. Let me hear it. Start reading now. He is the love of my life. Look, and then later I came back and put bullcorn. <laughs> like, oh. My soulmate. Then it happened. What I thought unimaginable. It could never happen to me. I went to Mexico for the summer, leaving behind tears and love. In Mexico, I would count the hours as they slowly crawled by. I was in a depression. My depression turned to frustration. And then I began to navigate in a sea of forgotten memories. And then Mr. Taylor was like, all right, time's up. And I was like, oh, cool. right. So the next day, August 17, 2000, the conclusion of the worst five minutes. As I was sailing on my confusing trip, I figured that maybe there is more to life than Phil. I started to wonder if there was someone else other than him. I got back to this puzzle of torment and doubt. I received his call and my mind was utterly blank. It was covered, shielded, lost. Then he asked, do you love me? I stayed quiet for about five long eternal minutes. It seemed as I had been captured and dumped up and dumped out of my mind, body and soul. Those minutes seemed never ending. And then that was it. And I remember though what I was talking about. Okay, my junior year I was with this guy, right? I was like in love with him. Like it was the one that I showed you the prom oh, picture. Oh, okay, okay. And he was like my everything. But then like I said before, you know, when you go to high school, when you, when you become a senior, then your boyfriend, because trust me, in my mind, when I was with this guy, my junior year, he was a senior in, in my high school. I thought that like I was Pamela Anderson and he was Tommy Lee. <laughs> that is how my mind worked. And also, like, I remember we would just slam each other up against the lockers and just start making out in between classes. And it probably offended and grossed out people now that I'm thinking about it. But at the time, we didn't give a shit. You know what I mean? Uh, the, teachers would, the teachers would be so cool, though. Like, eh, okay, okay, move it along, move it along, stop that. I almost went to prom with him again my senior year. And I kind of sometimes, like, think, like, I should have just gone to prom with him. Why, just, why didn't I? You know what I mean? Yeah. How dumb. Like, I should have just gone to prom with him. And the, but, but you, I don't know if you would have been born. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if I would have gone to prom with him, I wouldn't have gone to prom with somebody else. Like, it was just, every decision you make is so crazy how, like, it completely, like, just whoosh, changes every direction. Like, you're your you know your life is constantly being like written with everything that you choose in the moment you know guys if you're still with us and we haven't lost you yet <laughs> do you think that i should just keep like what do you think Brooke? read like an entry a day or create a podcast because we have that one yes where I just read this every day. Let us know in the comments. Some good songs and groups. Okay, let's see what my mind thought. While I'm having a sweet evening with Phil, I like to romance with Savage Garden. I knew I loved you. And I put it like in quotes, it's the song. When I'm just chilling, I like the Beastie Boys, Foo Fighters, and to Mellow, I jam to Creed. I'm also a big fan of country music such as Tim McGraw, Terry Clark, Mar Martina McBride, and George Strait. A group that is somewhat satisfying is- <laughs> Don't let them hear that. Why? Is it about a group? Or... It's not about a group, but it was Phil's group. So oh. I don't- I, So- <laughs> Okay, look. Only because of the fact that the bait- 
<laughs> the bass player is totally hot and he's my baby. <laughs> like I'm so, like I don't feel like this anymore, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. This was 20 years ago, but like reading it, it like embarrasses me. I hurt feel, I hurt feel. <laughs> and then, like, and then, a conversation with As a matter of fact, yesterday, who talks like this? Me. I'm not even making it up. Right? You're, yeah. Who are you? real life. I was like, you're funny. As a matter of fact, yesterday is a great example of a conversation. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's my transition. Boy, was Phil in hardcore trouble. Who oh, is so corny? Why don't you read it? See if it sounds better from you. No, you read it good. What happened? You just don't want to read it. <laughs> what happened was that Phil was supposed to see me because that was the only day he had off. It seems like he never has time for me because he's always working. That's in parentheses. Well, anyhow, and proper use of all these commas and punctuation. Shout out to my teachers. <laughs> yes, honey. That S A I S D education, baby. Woo! Get it, girl. Um, well, anyhow, then I found out he was with his friends. Dork and duck. <laughs> For real? <laughs> no. <laughs> with his friends, Matt and Sam. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> when then, I found out that he was with his friends, Matt and Sam. You know I was completely fired up. I called to his house to let him know he could lose my number. I really wasn't serious. I was just mad. <laughs> that again is in parentheses. You know I was completely fired up. I called to, I called to his house to tell it let him know he could lose my number. I really wasn't serious. I was just mad. I felt pathetic. He called me and I let him have He called me and I let him have it. That's probably how I would have said it, right? Mm -hmm. I told him how much of a coward he was and that he was a total idiot. I'm putting this down in the nicest way possible. Then when he started to cry and state how stupid and sorry he was, I started to soften my heart. Soften my heart. About after 20 minutes, after about 20 minutes, only because I'm madly and saintly in love with him, I accepted his apology. He's my baby, and I know that he doesn't do it on purpose. He's not perfect, but he's the best. I'm so much worse. I deserve to be treated with a little cruelty. But he would never do that because he's so sweet and loving. Because he can't get away with it. I love him. I was probably the worst conversation. It was probably the worst conversation he's ever come across. He'll live. I love him. Really love him. <laughs> I love Phil. I love Phil. I love Phil. <laughs> I must have had a really serious conversation about my feelings. But they were probably stemming from a... Well, yeah, like, you went out with your friends. Like, you barely have time for me. <laughs> That's probably what I was thinking. Yeah. What do you think? Psycho. You wouldn't have been mad? Yes. Well, then? <laughs> I'm just joking. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh-uh. Go there. <laughs> would you would you have that math? Yes. I was about to go crazier than you. Oh shit. It's my driving test. August 25th. I haven't gone for my license. I think I just procrastinated out of, I don't know, maybe fear or just plain laziness. I finally learned how to drive this summer. My dad taught me while I was while we were in Mexico. I was so excited, overwhelmed. My granddaddy, I don't know why I said that. I've never said that ever. It's my abuelito. His birthday was yesterday. My dad's birthday is tomorrow. My abuelito also came along for the scary ride. By the end of the night, I was comfortable. The next day, I was running errands. I was. They were like making, like I was going to, well, in my mind, they were errands. <laughs> and by the end of the week, I was cruising. This is like a story, you know, in the comments, my mom, I don't know.
motivate him to write a book. It was cool because I thought that I would never learn. So now all I need to do is go for my license. I think I just am scared. I need a little more practice. But when I do go for my test, God willing, I'll pass. <laughs> How do I? Do, I'm like. You're like writing good teen books right here. You know what I mean? It, this is this is nonsense. Look, August 28th, last night tears. First off, let me start with the fact that my weekend was smooth. <laughs> Got laid. Just kidding, that's not what it means. It was jokes, 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 jokes. I spent it with Phil. Saturday, I was kind of upset because when Phil called me from his work, there was background trash. Mm -hmm. You know what background trash means? Girls talking in the background, like trying to like talk to the person that was on the phone so the girlfriend can hear. Mm. Yesterday, we talked about our thoughts. I was scared to lose him and he was scared to lose me. I cried, but after a while, I was happy. He was happy. We seemed back to the way we were. Then I told him that I was going back to Mexico this weekend. I heart Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I heart Phil. August 29th, can't stop thinking. I've never really been depressed for a long period of time over a guy, especially not even one who I haven't split from. I mean, I'm not going to break up with him, the thing is that I've just been somewhat sad and lonely. I hardly get to see him anymore or even just have a conversation with him. When I do see Phil, it feels like it's not enough. I can't get enough of him. Shoot, I couldn't even get enough of him when we were always together. So imagine now, I wonder if things will ever go back to the way they were. It hurts because what if our best times were during both our high school days together. It's just different. Maybe after graduation, everything will get better. I say high school days, meaning the times when nothing matters but our love. Now he's entering a new world, reality. Our undying love and passion for each other will help us survive. We'll succeed. Naive little high school girl. August 30th, 2000. A movie scene. There's a scene in every movie that just drives me crazy. Most of my favorite movies have those scenes. They're the kissing parts, especially the ones where the actor tells the actress a really sweet line or passionate speech. I love those parts. They just have almost every element I enjoy in a movie plot. They're dreamy. August 31st, learning the hard way. This is a topic that relates to something that recently happened to me. I thought I could possibly get away something small. It wasn't major. But I guess because of the past and the concept, it's wrong. Well, from the major part, it is sort of, I guess I thought it was simple. I'm not really thinking, just writing, okay, talking to Miguel about it. <laughs> Miguel was my friend that was his friend. And then September 1st, Mexico awaits. I'm leaving to Mexico tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. My sister's going to go and discover whether he was worth her tears every night. <laughs> My sister would cry over this one guy from Mexico. Not every night, but like, yeah. she was always like, oh, I want to see him. I miss him. Hopefully he is. Me, I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to miss Phil. He thinks that my life is over there, but that's not completely true because he makes up half of my life. He holds my heart. I can't stand for Phil to not know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Girl, you need to get over Phil. <laughs> it's almost impossible to do so. This I know, but I'd still like for him to know what I feel or think. That way I'm not so frustrated when he has no idea what's going on. 
I know it's a little too much to ask for, but things would go a lot smoother. This just creates somewhat of a difficulty. <laughs> September 11, 2000. Are you reading other things for the girl? <laughs> My dad, how he's like amazing and a hero and all this. I like him a lot. And I put, look, I must have met someone. <laughs> Girl, she moved off of that disappointment. She said, this Mark. I remember mm -hmm. that guy. He was like a rebound. Not to be mean, but like he was like a rebound because I think that like. Phil. You know, it was like that other guy gave me attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> September 18th, I just did something and I'm not too happy about it. I have to try and fix it as soon as I can. I mean, I thought it was what I wanted. It's totally the opposite. Um, Robert is all right, but I don't feel anything for him. Then he tries to kiss me as if he is passionate about it and as if there would, what the heck? Someone kissed you. I can't even feel anything. Look, this is this seems very like a, a child who feels very confused about life, right? So conflicted and crying out for constant help. Like, because I don't remember me that way. In high school, I just remember me always just like on it, like me, what I needed to do and needed to get done. And I was like over it. Mm -hmm. The grapevine. The grapevine equals the world of rumors, tales, and gossip. I sometimes, no idea what that word is, only because, duh, it's fun. <laughs> My friends and I totally gossip, but we don't say anything we wouldn't say when the other person is there. We don't spread rumors. We just talk a lot. School's just one big soap opera, and that's only with a couple of friends. Drama, 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 and more drama. It's fun, not hurtful, I think. <laughs> Because, like, when we talk, like, amongst ourselves, yeah. but, like, we're not talking rumors. <laughs> October 2nd, 2000. It was, like, before I was going to be 18 because my birthday's October 11th. I got my tongue pierced this weekend. My daddy's birthday present for my 18th birthday. Out of all the people who were supposed to go with me, the one person who claimed would never, ever take me or set foot in a place like that was my mother. While we were waiting there, I decided that I was going to go back for a tattoo. My mom is almost somewhat convinced that she wants one on her ankle, a small rose. I'm going to get one on my lower back part. I'm not too sure what I want yet, but I'm getting it. I want to go home. What? It's only 10.15, but I already want to be laying in bed, shallowing in a puddle of thoughts. My heart is crying, my mind is confused, and my spirit is anorexic. Maybe I dwell on things for just too long. <laughs> Miss Bay. And Mr. Tyler Taylor. Mr. Taylor. Is just like, okay. <laughs> what do you think he thought of this little girl? October 5th, I think I want to get a job. I don't know what, but I know it's somewhere where I can take shit from... <laughs> I don't know what, but I know it's not somewhere where I can't take <laughs> from too many people. Everyone tells me a clothing store. True, my fashion sense is sleek and groovy, but where? Now that the holidays are approaching, it'll probably be easier to find a job. I need money, not for now, because duh, I have a dad, but for when I move out. During the summer, oh, for when I move out during the summer. I'm going to move out. Jill and I are getting an apartment. We're going to Southwest together in San Marcos. Girl, she thought she knew. She thought she knew. I didn't go. It's going to be cool. So anyhow, I'm going to need money for that. So job, because my dad is going to be paying for my college. So that means in order for me to move out, I need money. I know my dad doesn't want me to leave or go without, so without that money, I'm trapped. <laughs> so I need to look for one, it'll be cool. <laughs> Birthday, October 11th. I think we'll stop here. Today is my birthday. I'm 18 years old. Anyhow, 
So Sunday we went to the plaza, but it was freezing. So everyone was at the dance at the Circulo. This was in Mexico. So many things could have happened to screw with my world changing moment, but somehow everything clicked right into place as if destiny, fate had other plans. At first, my cousins were supposed to go with us, but afterwards didn't. So we got there and met up with, oh yeah, Graciela went with us. Oh, we need to change names. <laughs> and Robert too. Oh, he passed away. He passed away. In Buzz's Cancer, he passed away a couple years ago in the car accident. Really bad. It was on the news in Mexico. So we met up with Beto, Juan, David, and Claudio. All my friends from Mexico. Shout out to Beto. Like if they're gonna watch. Yeah. Si estás viendo. <laughs> Aww. October 13th, October 13, 2000. Okay, here's how my heart is brought back to life. I started feeling dizzy after talking to this guy. So I sat down. I sat down by myself and all these guys started approaching me. I didn't feel like dancing, so I said no. The guy who I was meeting eyes with earlier came up to me. He asked me what my name was and then asked where I was from. Then he asked if I wanted to dance. I was rude and said no, then turned away. After a while, I started to scope him out. He was totally a cutie. Then this guy came and asked if I was dan if I wanted to dance. It was that guy's friend. I took advantage and asked what his friend's name was. He said, Carlos. Carlos saw me point at him and I tried to play it off. Then I asked this that guy how old Carlos was he didn't know so I told him to find out he got up and said he was going to tell him I was his friend he was he got up and told me he was going to tell him I was the, like I was his friend uh -huh. you know, you know. that's when my life was about to change oh my gosh Carlos came straight towards me and sat down ah. <laughs> He said he was 22 and we started to talk. Then when the dance was over, like 15 minutes after, he sat down. Then we went outside and I started to shake and rub my arms to try to keep me warm. It was, what? Oh, and he rubs my arms to try to keep. <gasps> he reading. Take me back. Can you read me? It's taking me back. It's like, it's like, I mean, you don't want, like, I'm not like, I don't want a relationship, yes, but, but like, just... it like just takes you back. And I'm trying to like read it like an outsider, but like, I don't know how I would read it. It's okay. It's okay. You're reading it good. I like it. Okay. okay it's like yeah. a story. Okay. 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 Ah! Ah! He said he was 22 and we started to talk. Then when the dance was over, like 15 minutes after he sat down, then, and I have pictures of, like these people that I talk about, I have pictures of them. You're gonna show me later. <laughs> then when the dance was over, like 15 minutes after he sat down, then we went outside and I started to shake and he rubs my arms to try to keep me warm. It was so romantic. Lisa and them were making me hurry hurry out i didn't want to so we started to follow them we continued to talk and he was telling me that they call him his little nickname then boom a truck crashes straight into a house like two houses away from us then everyone got over it <laughs> it was because we saw like a car crash i think like this is all coming back to me I somehow it's all stored in your memory Weird. I wonder if I'll remember some of these things or I won't, you know? Then when everyone, then everyone got over it. It was the guy who introduced us. It was his friend. Now I remember into these houses. Don't drive drunk. 
So anyway, we were standing by the car trembling. He was so smiling and was telling how me how pretty I was and grabbing my cheeks. Ah! Then I memorized his number. I told him that I hope he doesn't forget me and I'll be back in November. He said he could never forget me. Hopefully he won't. Then we hugged, kissed on the cheek, and he left. I was so sad. For some reason, it was like I was depressed. I fell for him. It was romantic. Afterwards, we went to go eat at the, this taco place. And then so-and-so, 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 and so-and-so so -and -so went. Like all these friends that went. The next day, we came back home. Ever since then, I can't control my mind. So now I'm back in San Antonio. Uh-huh. And it's not like we had phones and stuff and like, you know, social media. Ever since then, I can't control my mind. I miss him like crazy. I found out he called me an hour after I left. But, because I had waited for him to call me the next day at my abuelita. <laughs> but when I was there with my abuelita, I found out that they know who his family is. And they live next to my uncle. Ah, how cool is that? <laughs> I'll be there for like ever. I miss him. This girl, I just want to slap her. I have a friend now, you know. Uh, uh huh. And I tell her about like how the way that like I look at her and I'm like, I used to be like that. Uh huh. And this is this like. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Golly. I just want to slap myself. Yeah. Let's see. How cool is that? I'll be there for like ever. I miss him. I called him yesterday, but his mom said he wasn't there. How sad, but exciting at the same time. I told her to tell him Monica from San Antonio called. I hope he gets my message. I miss him. I hope he doesn't forget me. When we go ah. from San Antonio, she had to say that. Look, and then all neon orange. Girl. This weekend was all right. Oh, my God. But this is when I went to um, my friend's Halloween party. And Phil was there. And I'm meeting up with Phil after meeting Carlos. Oh my, this girl. It, <laughs> that's what this story is about. At my friend's Halloween party. And I think I dressed up like a genie, which was just like underwear. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Probably knowing that Phil was going to be there with his friends. Because we all like were in the same circle. Uh -huh. October 18th. Alcohol. <laughs> Read it out loud. It's not so bad. I'm 18. I think that if I'm going to let my kids read this. Doesn't that blow my mind? I need a minute for myself. I don't know how I feel about this in terms of universe. Oh my gosh. On Friday night, about 12 p.m., I broke up with Phil. I couldn't believe it, but it was time to move on, I guess. Besides, if it was meant to be, it'll happen for us. The only reason for now why I doubt it is because I'm... And falling for Carlos. I didn't mean for it to happen. I didn't expect it or look for it. It just happened. I don't even know how. Phil was like, you know we are probably never going to talk or see each other again. I said, if you don't want to talk to me, I understand. It's been cool. So I guess I close another chapter in my life. That was like a piece of like that night. Oh my God. I Saturday, can't. I, I was. Can't. Saturday, I, I was. Tell me. Ah! I'm going to have to 
sneak in here and steal that journal from her. Watch her. She's going to be tearing the pages, burning them. Oh, my God. The things that I had the balls to write. One of them was like, so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so got in the front seat. I had the back seat. I did this, 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 this. Yes, yes. Like crazy stuff. Oh, my God. Just like in about partying. <laughs> Stop! It's a twenty-year-old. This is an artifact. Ah. This is an artifact. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, we will stop there. We went crazy. We went down a rabbit oh, hole. Oh my gosh! If you are still with us in this rabbit Congratulations. hole, congratulations! <laughs> you made it. You can print out your certificate at the end of this when you like, comment, or subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really enjoyed it. Let us know what you think that we should do with this new little journal that we've come upon. This little artifact, if you will. Until next time. Mmm. That's good. That's good. That is good.